start the show then by putting the spotlight on drone manufacturer Garuda Airspace. The company has secured 400 Agri Kisan drones from the Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative Limited. Let's find out a little bit more about what exactly this news means for the company. Joining in on the show is Agnishwar Jayaprakash. He is the founder and CEO at Garuda Airspace. Thanks so much for taking time out, Agnishwar. To begin with, let's just talk a little bit more about this collaboration and what exactly it means. Uh, because clearly it's going to help revolutionize the agricultural sector. So what does it mean for Garuda? Firstly, thank you so much for having me on. What we've managed to do is that ever since the Honorable Prime Minister had launched 100 of our drones in 100 different villages last year, we kickstart the monumental drone yatra, which took our agricultural Kisan drones uh, throughout all 450 to 500 different districts and where we covered a lot of ground in terms of showcasing the benefits of drones and how they could uh, increase efficiency as well as crop yield by reducing um, a lot of crop losses because uh, there is a lot of uniform spray and we are also creating a lot of employment for youngsters and the Garuda Kisan drone which was also endorsed by Mahindra Singh Dhoni has seen tremendous traction over the last six to eight months. Uh, we have in fact pre-booked over 9,000 drones before the IFCO order came in and we started our collaboration with IFCO a brief couple of uh, months before and we started out in Karnataka by helping farmers to spray nano urea and fertilizers throughout their fields to increase their food crop activity and what has resulted is that ifco has now made the decision to procure and purchase 2500 agri drones to support rural entrepreneurs through the country and we are very happy to announce that we have bagged over 400 drones and i believe that this is just the start of the agricultural revolution that will change the face of precision farming in our country okay um, so just take us through what exactly the, uh, you know, the implication of this will be on a financial basis for the company uh, in terms of your overall revenue projections and are there any more such orders now that you're exploring? Absolutely, ma'am. Uh, we have grown, uh, uh, like, you know, from four, 47 crores last year in terms of revenue to have a projection of over 400 crores this year because we sell our drones at anywhere between 4 to 4.5 lakh rupees. We've already pre-booked over 10,000 drones. So uh, in this is just the first quarter of this year. In the first three months, uh, we have a visibility of anywhere between 400 to 450 crores. The IFCO project is roughly about 40 to 45 crores worth. But uh, what we foresee is that it's going to be a large adoption of drones, not just domestically, but internationally. Garuda Aerospace is also having discussions with a lot of foreign partners who are interested in procuring made in India drones. So, and what has happened is there is a lot of progressive government policies that has been in place, especially for export in the last week for drones. And this enables Make in India drone manufacturers like Garuda Aerospace, which has a dual DGCA certification for both manufacturing as well as training to export drones. And on top of that, ma'am, what really differentiates Garuda Aerospace to ensure that we are able to realize this order book is we are the first ever drone company to receive the Agri Drone Loan as well as the Agri Drone Subsidy. So what's the export opportunity looking like then? Because currently I understand that you have about 750 plus clients. Where are those located and what kind of services is it that you're offering to which cities in the country? Today, ma'am, Garuda Aerospace is proud to announce that we have over 650 dealers and distributors across 400 districts. And uh, these resellers and centers of excellence in terms of education institutional partners that we have enable Garuda Aerospace to have a pan-India presence, not just in urban cities, but throughout the uh, district as well as rural pockets as well. On top of that, you asked a very important question about export opportunities and the clients. Garuda has always started as a drones as a services company. We equip our drones with probes, sensors, magnetometers, high-powered lasers, players, and cameras to capture data in never before seen ways, which is why we have amassed over 750 clients, most notably like the Vedanta, the Adani Group, the Reliance, and also Survey of India, where we mapped over 7,000 plus villages under the Swamitva scheme. We work for the Steel Authority. India, NTPC, etc. And now we are seeing the same sort of demand in foreign countries as well because Indian drones are far more efficient. They're also from a price standpoint a lot more cost effective and we also abide by a lot of information security laws. So all of these put together makes 
Indian drones and particularly Garuda Aerospace with the bandwidth that we have and what we have created in terms of credibility, the most reliable drone startup in India today. And looking at an order of over 400 plus crores, we are very poised to generate a lot of revenues in the next uh, few months that will create a runway for a larger Series B round and hopefully reach a potential $1 billion valuation by 2024. By 2024, $1 billion valuation. So what do your valuations currently stand at? Are you looking at any further fundraising? Absolutely, ma'am. Right now, what we have started out is a Series B fundraise with a lot of our investors. We have uh, global investors coming into the drone sector. And primarily, I would like to thank the government of India for a lot of progressive policies. Because up till 2020, the drone market was heavily regularized. Uh, there were a lot of licenses and permission that you need to get. Uh, and the first step that India took uh, from a governmental and regulatory standpoint is to ease and liberalize drone rules. That happened in 2020. In 2021, uh, a like by Elon Musk on our tweet on the solar panel cleaning drones led to a pre-series A funding round at uh, for about $1 million. And since then, Garuda has raised significant amount of money and also you're seeing a lot of other companies going IPO. The entire drone sector has received a lot of strategic investments. VCs are getting interested. So what we believe is uh, in a very short amount of time, Garuda will raise anywhere between 50 to $75 million in Series B funding at above 300 to $400 million valuation. Take us through what you're targeting for FY24 revenues and how much selling of drones contributes to your overall revenue pie, um, what the rest is by and how many drones you want to sell over the next few months? Absolutely, ma'am. In the first quarter itself, like I told you, we have already pre-booked about 10,000 drones and these are primarily agricultural drones. Once we uh, launch the Drony drone by the end of this month, we will have a forecast of at least a minimum of 7,000 to another 10,000 drones. So we're very confident that uh, revenues will for, uh, surpass anywhere between 400 to 450 crores this year because the order book suggests that in terms of just agri as well as the droney drones that we forecast. The agricultural drone services that we have and that we have always been providing over the last five years for several clients will continue. We have a lot of government projects that we have backed and those are long term two to three year contracts which will contribute anywhere between 30 to 50 crores. So we foresee anywhere upwards of 450 crores of revenue and predominantly 80 percentage of that revenue will be coming from drone sales. I'd also like to point out that Garuda was one of the 14 companies that were shortlisted for the production link incentive uh, that the government had launched. So we will be also benefiting from that scheme starting this year onwards. And because we are a dual DGCA certified drone company, uh, for both manufacturing as well as training, we will uh, we will have potentially five different avenues for revenues. So we have diverse clientele coming in. And since we are a recession-proof, market agnostic, and a unit economic-focused business model, we have been profitable for the last two years. And profitability and sustainability are at the core of our business model. Okay, fair enough. Um, just walk us through as well um, what the outlook is in terms of capitalizing on the steady growth for the entire uh, drone manufacturing sector because we understand that in India the drone sector will achieve a turnover of 12 to 15,000 crores by 2026 from the current 80 crore rupees. How do you plan to capitalize on this? I think a lot has to do with the strategic partnerships that we have formulated with the likes of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, as well as Bharat Earthmoves Limited. The partnership with HAL and BML is very crucial for drone startups and companies like us because we don't have to invest in a very asset-heavy manufacturing line when we already have several companies. And in fact, we are blessed to have this partnership with HAL and BML because they have facilities all over the country. Given the fact that earlier there were very tight regulations, the fact that you know um, you hadn't seen enough funding available with the kind of uh, initiatives that have been taken by the government, are you still seeing some uh, challenges or some roadblocks ahead and what changes would you like to see? To be very honest, uh, I think the time has come for entrepreneurs as well as companies to take onus and responsibility and start getting to work and action. This sector has to grow 
capital has to be made available. And if that has to be done, I believe that there has to be a close coordination, not between the government sectors and industry, but I believe it has to be a, co a census coordination between the banking and financial institutions, as well as the industry to figure out very good sustainable models that will keep continuing this amazing growth trend of drones in this country. All right, we're going to leave you on that note. Thanks so much for taking time out and joining in Agnishwar with a view and what this order means as well as the sector as a whole. Thank you so much for having me.